Steve Jobs and I were working on a new iPhone. Yeah, according to Neil Young, him and Steve Jobs were working on a high-def audio iPod. And I've, I've never liked the term high-def audio, but and we definitely don't have it here. <laughs> um, but it, it, it was basically going to be for the audio files, you know, the, oh, you can now have the higher hertz range, and you know, and then and, uh, and uh, uh, if that's true, that device will probably still come out. Because yeah, I like what he's saying. He's he's, he's anti MP3, really anti digital, because he's saying we only get five percent of the original making studio. Mm -hmm. Oh no, no. See, the audiophiles hate the MP3 format because they can hear the lost audio waves sure, and it's the. Sure. And, and, I know, I was, I was one of those guys, like, yeah, man, I, I, yeah. even, even the CD, I was just like, oh. Ba basically, what this project was supposedly going to be was an attempt to bring vinyl quality to digital, which would have meant creating a new Apple format for audio that encompasses... Well, what's wrong with that? Okay, so I, I, don't, I don't want to, I don't want to, anything wrong, but I'm just like... It's not agnostic, Rusty. <laughs> no, no, that's not what I, that's not what I'd have a problem with that. Uh... How would you get anything into that format? Know. Because the reality is, look at how they record the stuff today. Yeah. I mean, the reality is, you don't have the audio. You don't have the, the when they make the recordings. You don't have the things because they're already digitally cutting them down as they're recording the masters. Do you think? Do you think it would? It's something to do with maybe as much storage that we are able to have now in such small devices, and then. Compression is, is, is like completely different. In other words, maybe you can get closer to 50% of the mirror. I don't think you can ever get all of it. Well, no, you, you'd have to change, for one, how you record the audio. Because the not that long, uh, a, a while back, when we started the switch over, when we made the switch from analog to digital, it, most of the stuff that's recorded, the masters don't retain that audio file quality. They just, they don't. It's not there. Uh, and, uh, unless, I mean, on old stuff, if you can find the masters or the things, vinyl. <laughs> uh, yeah, or, yeah, vinyls that are in good shape. <laughs> uh, yeah, but on a lot of things, you, you have to basically start recording things in high quality again. It, it's... Yeah, I, I don't know. It, it, I, I know what people are talking about. It's a, it's a, this is an interesting thing. It's so true. We are giving up so much. Also. Well, I, I, the reality is, I guarantee you, most of the people walking around today don't even realize don't the difference. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's, well, they haven't heard it. You know, I I, I grew up listening to records. I, yeah. I, 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 re I There is a difference in the audio quality, especially if you had a good stereo system that can handle it and everything. That's ugh. all right. So we're on Apple TV. Yeah, I don't know what the hell to make of this thing. <laughs> it's a rumor. I, Supposedly, it's a rumor. Apple's making a television. Not like yeah. the Apple TV. They're going to make an actual physical, like fifty inch. My question is why? Why become a Samsung? I guess it could. I, I guess that's where they're headed. Does it become a Samsung? Of sorts. It, didn't they just sue Samsung for copying them? <laughs> it's like, and now what are they doing? You know, it's like. <laughs> I mean, that's essentially start making these appliances. I mean, what else? What else am I to think? I don't know. Well, uh, and the other thing there is, this is a real debate in the industry right now. Should the next generation of devices be in bed, or should they be dumb? You know, it's like, should you have your Apple TV, your Google TV, your Android TV, your Microsoft TV, or should your TV be a monitor and you have the little Apple TV box, Android TV box, Microsoft TV box? I don't box. know. See, I, you know, <laughs> here's my thing, Russ. This is the one thing I want. Uh, the projection element, I'm not as keen on all the way. I mean, I don't think it's going to be the projection element. Um, I, I, I I just said that I, I I doubt they'll be I doubt they'll only no, make no, a fifty-two. I could go bigger. I mean, I could go bigger, but I, the screen—it's a nice size screen for me. And I, yeah, I go to my friends' houses that have bigger, and it's nice. But I do—I'm very particular about my sound. I have a seven-point-one system here, 
sound is extremely important to me and, and how I spend lots of time aligning my speakers make it I, that, I don't know I'm just a sound oriented person very much and and uh, the other thing that I'm a stickler on is I, I like I'm very much in your camp of, of uh, agnostic uh, to use that your favorite word uh, means of content on the television I don't like cable providers providing you a channel. I want channels a la carte. And yeah. not only that, I want to be able to record them. Apple TV's product right now has no TV tuner. Well, I'm it, honestly, I'm okay with the not having the local copy. I, I'm actually fine with like the Roku model of okay, I have a I have a Hulu and a Netflix subscription, and basically it's on demand whenever the hell I want it. Okay, but. But, but let's say, okay, but if all content goes... Yeah, yeah, and, and honestly, that is where I'd like it to go. I'm fine with I, it being on their server, and they can access the metrics and know when I go into it and what I do and how I watch it and where I pause. I'm fine with that because that's what they, how they sell advertising. I'm fine with that as long as it's on demand and I can do it whenever I want. Right, but, but do you think we'll get there now? I guess for, I, I'll totally go with that. But I guess in, in the, in the we're realm, we're damn close there now between Hulu, you Netflix. Think over the air TV is going to go away. Um, over the air might be the last holdout, but honestly, uh, I I don't have over the air TV at all right now, and uh, I mean I, I I get my Comedy Central stuff, the stuff I care about, South Park, Colbert, and um, Stewart on Hulu. Uh, I, 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 so get, I guess I don't visit those sites. Now, can I get all the shows, like, for instance, that Discovery uh, Channel has? See, that, that that's the thing you wind up missing. Uh, some of uh, the... See, right, see that, and that, that's the thing. You Basically, you'd have to buy the History Channel DVDs. The, the, the ones you miss out on are History Channel, Psy, um... Some They're all uh, my favorites. Yeah, I, I know. Uh, the BBC also hasn't gotten on board with this yet. Uh, but basically, yeah, I guess that's going to have a tuner in the meantime. Until that happens, I wouldn't be able to record. It. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I know. I, uh, but see, I would prefer I would prefer it just all go that way. And also, the thing you get into the big pissing match over right now, especially on Hulu, yeah. uh, 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 with USA and Sean and other stations, is they're like, oh yeah, we're gonna go ahead and give this to Hulu, but it's gonna be internet only, so you can't use it on your TV box. You have to go log into the computer and go to the web page. Are you a Hulu member, or did you pay to be part of Hulu? Yeah, Hulu Plus uh, is is a is a paid service. Are you a Hulu Plus member? Yeah. Okay, so no, no, I mean, and and, 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 and it's really that's funny. funny. I wish all. I wish the few. There, there really is like less than less than five main hub content companies that haven't gotten on board with this yet. Yeah. Uh, and, and I mean, and even the premium channels. I mean, you can get Showtime and H. Question. Well, I, I questions. I get it. This is a question for you directly. Um, does Hulu have more content or exclusive content to it, like versus Netflix? Uh, uh, the, what, what it is is they're different animals. Why Hulu has old TV shows that were on? For the most part, this is the way you think about it. Hulu is for stuff that's on TV now. The current season of stuff, the stuff that was on, uh, like if it comes out Sunday, two to th uh, the, uh, next Sunday it'll be on Hulu. So really? that's it, what it's so, which so, stations. So, so that's said again. For which stations? All of them. Uh, more mainstream stuff, and it's not everything. Like uh, ABC, CBS, NBC. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I mean, like uh, a lot of Fox, a lot of Fox's stuff, but not all of Fox's stuff is on there. Uh, the CW, uh, some of their, most of their prime time shows are on there. Um, st stuff like that. It, 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 it's, it's more like the fringe stuff and the non prime time stuff that isn't on there. Netflix is more for. Old stuff, movies, things that used to be on TV a year ago or older, gotcha. are, are so basically gotcha. the stuff that would be on DVD. That's Netflix, uh, and like Hulu is the stuff that's on TV right now. They have old stuff. I mean, 
really old stuff like Lost in Space, Land of the Giants, Quantum Leap, all that stuff's on Hulu. But I can't get Discovery Channel stuff on. Yeah, and that, see, that that was the one that kept me from doing it for a long time because I was like, hey, I really want science and Discovery. However, <laughs> however, Netflix is getting better about carrying the series they do. Like how the universe works and uh, and all those series are showing up. The DVD compilations of them are showing in the Netflix library. So it's 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 I would say it's like ninety percent there right now. It's not quite there yet, but we're damn close. How much does it cost to be a Hulu Plus member? Hulu Plus, uh, I want to. I, I have the total amount here. I want to say. Here, I'm it's seven ninety nine. Yeah, it, it's um and Netflix. If you still want the DVDs, is like fifteen bucks. So really, you can get it all for like yeah, twenty five. My, my wife, my wife is a Netflix uh, subscriber. Daily. So I mean, re really, you can get like ninety percent of your content right now for twenty-five bucks. Uh, now the now there's there's certain channels, like I said, HBO and Showtime and things like those are available, but yeah, but that's movie stuff. Uh, no, 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 no. I know that, and they're screwed up because you have to be subscribed to the cable feed to get them, which defeats the whole purpose of even having them. Uh, Okay, so what does Roku do? What Roku is is it, it, a Roku is like a Apple TV device. It's a it's a little box. You plug oh, it into your you go you go to Best Buy. You buy it. You plug it into your TV. It lets you have net, oh, okay. Netflix and Hulu on your TV where you want it instead of on the computer where it's in an internet browser. Oh, my Mac is attached to my to my TV. Uh, okay. Like I said, you don't. It, basically, it's it's a it's a fifty to it's you mean it's a fifty to hundred dollar device that lets you have uh, it on the TV. So, and it, so 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 you can't store anything on it though. You uh, the Roku has an SD card slot in it, so you can but you can't store things directly from the Roku. But you can like add up something in an SD card and stick. Well, let you record TV. No, because it's not a TV. It's a it's a feed device. It's not a TV. It's it's got. No, a uh, television to me is the projection monitor. Oh, I guess I see what you're saying. So it, it feeds particularly what internet content. Uh, it, it feeds any uh, the way the Roku thing is set up is it's organized into channels, okay. and and the cha like Netflix is a channel. That's all the stuff that Netflix has streaming. Hulu is a channel. Now you have to pay for Hulu and Netflix, of course, to get them to show up on there. But you you you, you put in your account. It's not an additional fee. You just have to put in your Netflix and Hulu account because uh, because those are paid services. Netflix isn't free. Hulu isn't free. Okay, so they have like okay, I'm, I'm on the Roku site. It's R O K U. So right. Oh, okay. So here it can. It, it looks like it does Amazon Prime, HBO Go, FX Hulu Plus. Pixar. Now HBO Go won't work unless you have an HBO account with your cable provider. Disney. Yeah. And the, okay, so this is I get it. So it's a it's a content. Yeah. And basically, you pick which channels you want, and they're there in your menu to watch whenever you want. Does it get its own servers or something, or, or what, what? No, the, like uh, it, it, like when I'm watching Netflix, I'm talking to Netflix servers. When I'm watching Hulu, I'm talking to Hulu servers. When I'm watching, it's like having a little internet connection device. Yeah, it basically it basically puts it where you want it, tied to your TV, and, and th that's the debate. Do we want these little boxes like this that are just relay and our monitors dumb? Or do we want all this stuff built into our TV? I don't know. It, it, it's a debate. You know, ask 50 people, 25 will say this, 25 will say that. You know, I don't actually have an answer. I don't know what I would prefer. I, I guess I just want to be able to uh, get my stuff on a cart and I don't give a damn how I get it. <laughs> well, no, and see, that, that was the thing. I, I, I'm old-fashioned. When I'm watching TV, I want to watch it on the TV. Which is why yeah, we got. Oh, I do. I do want to watch it on my TV. Yeah, yeah. Which is why I got the stupid Roku. But I wouldn't mind also if it was a computer device in there. The thing about the the Roku. Wait, wait, wait. wait. You're telling me I can't attach the Roku to my TV? No, you can. That's what the whole. That's the whole point of it. You would, oh, it, okay, it, it, it uses the, if you buy the higher end one. It's a little HDMI cable. You know, it's. Oh. Okay. Well, wait a minute. All right. So wait, wait, wait. So what are you? I guess I missed what you were saying. Then. Uh, 
what I was getting at, that's the whole point of those things. You can access all the channels and everything that's on... Yeah, you were saying the debate is, do we actually want to watch it on a TV, or... Well, yeah, basically if, what the... What's on a television screen? The point of those devices is to put all this internet content in the form factor we're used to, which is mm. on the TV. Everything that those devices access is internet stuff. You could you could get it on your computer monitor. Oh yeah. But but why do you want it? You know, I'm sorry. The reality is. You actually tell me there's a debate that people want to watch TV on a computer. There's some people who argue those devices are unnecessary and well, but see, think of what you've done. You've hooked your little Mac Mini in the entertainment center. Yeah, but you know what? These are devices. I would say it's totally necessary. Not everybody's going to attach a Mac Mini to a computer or a Windows media. Uh, and, and I agree. I think these little cheapy twenty to hundred dollar boxes yeah. are the. It's fifty nine ninety nine. Yeah. You well, you it, 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 here's the thing. If you like quality, you really want to buy the hundred dollar one because that's the one that does ten eighty. Nowadays, it's kind of hard though. I mean, uh, Wii comes with some of this stuff. The PS3 comes with it. Xbox. Doesn't Xbox do this shit too? Uh, uh, Xbox will let you do Netflix. That's the thing. Uh, uh, basically, um, the, the two that pretty much have it down right now, as far as for having the widest base of channels, mm -hmm. and that, uh, and that which, which, which things they have to let you access are Roku and Boxy. I mean, even Apple doesn't do Netflix and Hulu. They just do Netflix. You know, it, it's so. It, it, it's the one that has the good, firm, broad base, but it's not everything yet. Honestly, if Apple is going to go into the Samsung business, they need to get Hulu on board with them. I will say that for the There's U.S. A lot of these, you know, like boxing and Roku. And, I don't know. I just want to see it on my damn TV. I don't care how it gets there. I, predict, I, I just like the Mac Mini because I could do a tuner and I could also put internet at the same time if I wanted to. I could do documents if needed be, like a little bit of work. Like I could have, like, um, I could shrink the TV screen over to the side a little bit and then have, uh, if I ran to the Mac Mini, that is. Because all of the feeds, uh, I, I can have all of my feeds go to the Mac Mini and then the Mac right. Mini could, you know, out HDMI and all that other shit, so I don't lose anything. Well, and see, that is that right there is where the debate comes into of do you want the boxes separate or do you want them built into the TV? Because the thing that comes from them being built into the TV is then the TV has an OS and it has these things built in, so you can do things like that with the various content and feeds. Oh damn! Well, I don't know. I don't know because then, wouldn't that kind of lock you into? Well, no. See, that's where people get into the debate because they're like, "Well, what if they don't upgrade my TV? Then I, what do I have to buy a new TV every year, every two years, every son, as opposed to throwing my box away and uh, buying a new box?" Yeah. <laughs> what about streaming? Um, yeah. See, I didn't even. Do this, I didn't. I didn't opt for streaming across my house either because the, the Apple TV box will let you stream from your Mac to the Apple TV, to your TV screen. Um, but see, I do that with my computer, and my Mac Mini connects over the network when I want to talk to my other computers. I don't know, Rusty. Jesus, I, I don't know. This is a, I'm, 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 uh, I, don't, I don't know what a benefits. I, 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 I can't, I can't, uh, I, I just want my, I just want my content and to be able to <laughs> do much. But the thing of it is, it's like, I'm a guy who knows how to do it. You know, and put a kid TV. I don't know what the solution would be for somebody who doesn't know anything about for, it. For non technical for non technical people, I really do recommend something like a Roku. The only thing I will warn you about the Roku huh. and, and pretty much all of these damn things, the UIs suck across huh. the board. No, the the way this works is I add channels and they're in a row. So basically I have a D pad. I have my little remote. I have a D-pad. And I'm going over, 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 that one. Over, 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 that one. And it's like, basically the UI sucks. It has no ability for you to go, okay, put this stuff here, put that stuff there, let me group it in a way that makes sense to me so I'm three clicks from everything. And it basically... 
the way this stuff is treated right now is as a supplement, not the replacement we all want it to be. And as such, it's kind of been afterthought in the way some things work, in the way some, I mean, there's a separate paid channel for Roku, which does something Netflix should have done, which gives you, which is to give you the entire Netflix catalog sorted by categories. Because when you're in the Netflix channel, which is free on the Roku, you can only see like 20, 10, or 50 of a category that may have 200 things. And they're not grouped in any particular way. They're grouped by what the algorithm thinks you're interested in. So, like, say you'll find Lethal Weapon 2, but it won't tell you they have Lethal Weapon 1, 3, and 4. So you'll have to go search for those and find uh, it's, like, it, it's just it, it, it needs a UI tweak. Uh, it's well, you know, it's, see, you bring up a great point. Do people uh, that are non technical want to have their operating system so it do work on the TV screen if they wanted to? I mean, I guess, is that a need that people want? That's a very, very curious question. Right? Because I like to do it, I don't do it a lot. I mean, I'll put it that way, I don't do it a lot. But it's nice to be able to do it. Hey, yeah, let me bring this file over. Um, or, yeah, let's take a look at that file while the TV is still on and I kind of just, you know, move it over. Um, I don't know the way it would non geeks really need that. Maybe this this uh, Roku is for, for, they just, for, like, for, like, I just want to browse the internet. It, I don't care. That, that's I'm not so much a geek thing. thing as it is a workaholic thing. Workaholics who wind up working from home and doing sixteen hour work days would want that feature even if they're not geeks. Yeah, but yeah. the average consumer probably not. Cause TV's kind of the average person's escape. <laughs> okay. uh, we still don't know if Apple's really making this. This, this is rumor or not. <laughs> I, 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 you know what? I don't. I don't know. It'll be special about it. I wonder if there, if it's gonna be a, a TV with OS ten or iOS ten or some shit like that. It, it, the only way this rumor makes sense to me is if it's gonna be uh like. The, a fusion device for trying to fuse the living room with the iMac. Dude, I guarantee if that starts, then and if that takes off, then you're gonna then that's exactly that's exactly what's gonna happen. Samsung's gonna have Android or whatever. Well, no, they and, see they already do. The, there, there's yeah. a there's a number of Android power TVs that are coming on the market in the next eighteen months. Interesting. So that that's the only reason I give half credence to this. It may be one of those apples like. We want our thing there, too. Yeah. And let me say this, then. All of these TVs that eventually come out, while we have over-the-air TV, don't shut it out. <laughs> let, us, let us bring it in through a tuner and, and receive the feeds. And number two, well, let us record whatever the hell comes on the gosh damn screen. You know? Like a, like a, well, but that gets into DRM stuff right there. No. We are all legally allowed to record whatever the hell we want on our TV. Like my wife misses a soap opera. Oh, you know, we we're going out to eat, so I gotta record a soap opera. That's fair use. I, you know, honestly, this is a feature I've wanted on TVs for a while, but I don't think we're gonna have it. I well, have what's TiVo doing? TiVo doesn't break any. Uh, uh, no, no. I, I well, but TiVo is a is a tuner. What I have wanted for a long time is for do you remember back in the day? We're probably one of the, some of the few uh, people who bother to mess with this stuff who remember this. For how many? Uh, you know, this is a question. How much of our audience actually remembers this? You remember once upon a time, every TV had an in and an out. So whatever was on the TV, you could pipe into the out. Right. and do something with it. Rather it was take it to another screen, to a VCR, later to a DVD recorder, to, to whatever. But have you noticed on modern TVs, there isn't an out, or at least I a digital. Have an out. I, my, my you, you have an analog out. Do you have a HDMI out? You know what, let me go check. I'll have to go check. I, be I bet you don't. You have a bunch of inputs. But you really only have that one coax output if you're lucky. Yeah, 
and most of them don't have that you anymore. Right. You, you, you know, I'm not going to say you're wrong. You might be right. No, because was right. what they did. We, we basically the way we made the, we changed it where the TV doesn't have an output, and the recording devices had a in out where you put the feed into the recording device, then out into the thing, and none of those really support HDMI because of the DRM with HDMI. And it's like basically, I'm like, I want my output back on the TV where my monitor can be dumb but whatever's on my monitor can be recorded. I agree with you there but I don't, there's none of the TVs on the market really do that anymore. Now you're going to go make me look. Now you're going to go make me look. <laughs> I'm going to go make you pull your TV out. <laughs> no, I'm going to try to find it online. I don't even know what the model is but uh, what's I bet you don't. I bet if, if anything you have like a coax out. Maybe a This looks similar. You're right. I don't think there's an HDMI. It's HDMI one, HDMI two. Yeah, you have a bunch of inputs, no outputs. You know, though, but I wouldn't use my 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 TV up because I have a receiver, though. My receiver does all that. Uh, okay, but as we transition over to this. Uh, on-demand thing, we're not going to have our receivers. We're going to have our... Oh, hell no! You're not getting rid of my receiver. I go to my 7.1 surround sound. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're getting your surround sound from the cable company? No, 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 no. I have a, a, an independent receiver. Oh, you don't... An audio receiver. But, um, oh, okay, okay, yeah, okay. It's big units. It's, 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 you, you buy it. It's, they're very expensive. They come with they come with a subwoofer. They come with speakers and all this other great stuff. Well, what you do is you plug in your satellite receiver into it, your TV into it, my Mac Mini into it, all of them, and you get digital audio out. So they all contribute, you know, to it. So there is audio out on my Samsung TV, but no HDMI, I guess, out. Uh, I'm not sure. I, I think you're probably right. I just don't. Yeah, they're basically just one way now. They, they're not. They haven't been two way for a while. Okay, on that depressing bombshell. <laughs> <laughs> now you're gonna go look. Are you probably right? I have three HDMI ports on my on my uh, TV. Yeah, mo most of them have two to four now. But no out. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and tail that off there. <laughs> Now I'm obsessed with finding out there's an out. <laughs> there's a digital audio out. Yeah, audio, but you, you like that's not going to help you record. I know. Well, wait a minute. No, I have a tuner that's in line. Well, the t oh, you're saying if the T... Oh. See, now you follow. There's no reason that would cost like fifty cents a unit to add that. <laughs> it's like <laughs> I see what you're saying. The tuner's built in. Yeah. Yeah, and the tuner would have to be part of the TV. Everything Gosh, that was alien to me because I don't. I never thought of it that way because yeah. all of my tuners were always exterior to my TV. But right? once like you put it, it once we put it all in the TV. Well, yeah, dude, we're screwed. <laughs> and this is where the people who are like, I want my monitor to stay dumb. Let it be on my little external yeah. boxes. <laughs> but there, there, there is a... check into the signals my Mac Mini. But there's a push to put it all inside the TV. Dude. <laughs> so. HDMI out port. Come on. It's kind of exists on some some damn TV. Dude, I, I bet I bet it doesn't. <laughs> I don't think there's one on the market. You know what? That's a scavenger hunt. If anybody can find a TV out on the market out. with an HDMI out port, <laughs> okay. I'm gonna... You did it on the nail. Yes, they they do this, and it's all built in. Yeah, that's typical Apple style too. God damn it. Okay. You better put it out. <laughs> Well, it's not like Apple would be the only one doing it. That's pretty much what the industry's done. <laughs> it's just... Oh, shit. Well, why do you need to do that, Mr. Ben? It's all on your TV. That's right. <laughs> all right. Peace out, all. <laughs>